everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paws and Paper. So I have a super simple video today. I had come across these little, they're metal, but they're like a real pale blue and white. And they're little charm pieces. And I would probably not use these as they are. So I thought I should age them. And how cool did those turn out? I mean, that's super cool. So I am going to show you how I did this. Super simple. So don't discount things that maybe are not in your um, preferred color range. So this is all it takes. A few metal pieces or plastic pieces, whatever you want, and some alcohol ink. Now, I couldn't even tell you what mine is because it's so covered over and whatnot. Um, but it's just a brown alcohol ink. And this makes a super cool effect. So all I did, I'm, I just got a paper towel here on my non-baking baking sheet. And I am just going to dab some alcohol ink on them. I'm telling you guys, super easy. And then I just kind of mushed it all around. Now, if you wanted it to be solid, I would let it just sit like this and let the alcohol ink dry. But what I did so that it got like this, I almost think it doesn't look like a robin's egg, you know, like a speckled robin's egg look. Now look at the back side. See how the back is more solid? So if you want that solid look, I would just let the alcohol ink dry as it is. But what I did, I let it dry for a little bit. And then I kind of just gently touched the paper towel to it. And let it dry a little bit longer to make sure that all my edges were covered. And then I just flipped them over and let the paper towel do all my work for me. And magically, when I go to do the other side, now you could take a heat tool and dry this off. Alcohol ink dries pretty quick though. Um, it doesn't take long to dry, but I just then did the other side, lightly tapped the other side on these. Yeah, so alcohol inks are a great tool when you want to change the color of metals and plastics and stuff. Because like I said, you know, I probably, I wouldn't probably use these in a journal normally just because they look, you know, they're way too modern, way too clean looking, shall I say. But even this looks kind of cool. But yeah, I'm just fanning it. I could get out my heat, heat tool. But when I go to turn them over... Depending on how long I let my alcohol ink dry on this side, I get this fun little effect of the little blotchies. How cool is that? So yeah, if you want it to be more speckled with the darker bits like that, just let it dry a little bit longer. But that's all it takes. And then, let's see if I can get my glove off here without um, ruining everything. So what I am using these for currently is my newest journal I'm working on here. So here's what I, I'm using it for. I made this just fun little dangly tag. Now, this journal is a very grungy, uh, academic type journal. So don't those look cool? Fits right in there. So there you go, guys. Super simple video. Take some metal little charm pieces and turn them into something old and grungy. I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Go get your paws dirty and get crafty. Bye.